it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to make a very simple video uh, talking about how to deploy an application into Netlify. So it's a React application that you're going to be able to upload and deploy and use it from whatever, wherever you are. So it's a really, I, I hope it is a really nice tutorial because a lot of people were asking me and I just thought that it would be nice to make this video. But before we go into the video, if you, if you guys could like leave a like and comment down below, I'm posting every single day. So that would be great and I would really appreciate it. Okay, so the first thing you actually need to do is create an account in Netlify. So as you can see, I have my account here. I have three websites. Those are like different websites that have that have worked before. And when your like when your account is done, you'll be able to see this page right here. And the other thing you need to do is create a repository for your application. So if you go to GitHub, they work directly with GitHub, meaning that whenever you want to update your website, you can just update your, your like commit and push to your GitHub repository and it will update automatically into your uh, Netlify website. So as you can see, I pushed this application is like a really, really dumb application. You just click here and this shirt appears. So it's a very simple application, but you can see I have like all, all of these things over here. This is how I made is a React application and I've committed everything to uh, GitHub. Like, let me just uh, commit for the last time, as you can see. You can commit uh, whatever, whatever, and just push everything and make sure that you have everything pushed into your repository. And another thing that is extremely important is the fact that if you're working with a full stack application, which I guess most of my subscribers are working with, meaning that you have a node backend and you have a React application for the client, then I would mean that this would only work if, you, if your repository is only the repository of the of the front end. So separate, I would recommend separating your backend and your front end into two different folders. So this one, for example, I called it a sample React app, app deployment, but I would call it, for example, a front end of the name of the application. And inside of here, it would only contain the files and the folders related to the front end because it would get very confused and it always tries to reach some HTML initially, right? So it would try to reach for files on the back end and you obviously wouldn't find anything. So try to deploy mainly on, like only the front end files. So my files probably already uploaded everything to GitHub and everything was committed, as you can see. And what we need to do now is be able to create our website on Netlify. So the first thing you need to do in, in, on Netlify, you need to click here on this button called uh, new website. And you can see that it appears a bunch of stuff, meaning continuous deployment. You can choose different services like GitLab, Bitbucket and GitHub. I'm obviously going to choose GitHub and you're going to see that it's going to open up an authentication system where we can connect with our GitHub account and I have already connected and here appears all of my repositories. So let me see if I can find the name of this is sample, uh, sample react deployment. I'm going to click on this and you can see a bunch of stuff appears. I'm going to select the branch deploy as the master and you can see that all of this stuff appears and it seems like everything should be nice. So, this would be where you're, you have actually a .env file. So this is something important. If you have a .env uh, file in your project with variables, this is where you need to put those variables. You can click on new variable and you can add as many as you can. These are environment variables, which include, for example, API keys, secrets, secrets, everything that you can imagine that you can solve. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that means that this doesn't apply to you, but basically this is the idea, right? So you can click here to deploy site, but obviously, this will not deploy immediately. You'll see that it will say site deployment in progress, but the reason why it won't work is because we haven't actually made the prerequisite actions that will make us able to deploy our website. So the next thing we got to do, we have to go here to our application, as you can see here. And by the way, I'm going to like close this and this as well. I just want to have one terminal and I'm going to clear this terminal because I want to make it so, as clear as possible. And what you got to do is we basically want to build your application. So if you've never built an application before, you can just write uh, yarn run build, and it's going to start, um, start running and create a version of your application over here, as you can see, that is going to be a build a build version of it. And this is where you're going to be able to, like the Netlify will be able to see your project and deploy it. So now that we have actually uh, created a build version of our application, we can just come here to our uh, Netlify uh, page and we can click on settings or actually deploys. And then you can trigger deploy and deploy website. 
This will allow us to start the deployment process and we're going to see if any errors occurs. I'm going to come back after it finished deploying and if there's any errors, I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, as you can see right here, my build just finished. However, I will admit that this wasn't the first build I made. The first build that I actually made failed and it will probably fail for, fail for you guys too. And I'm gonna explain how to fix it because I remembered that like immediately when it failed, I remembered what was the issue. This for some reason was a change made by Netlify. So if you're currently not being able to deploy on Netlify, this is how you fix it. Basically, uh, if you come here to, to, the, to, to your Netlify website, so let me let me go to that link as you can see right here you're going to my, my project right now is currently available so i can open the url this is a netlify url and it works perfectly so the image loads is all on the server that's why it's taking a bit too low but it, it works as you can see this is the link and this is the domain and as you can see right here the way to fix it is basically you go to site settings then you go to uh the, the actually deploys deploy settings sorry and over here on the build command, you need to put a CI equal behind the yarn run build. The yarn run build is something that already starts with the uh, with the build settings or the deploy settings. So you need to put this right before it. If you don't put this, it's not gonna work. I spent like hours the last time I deployed my website on Netlify. For some reason, this is required now. So don't forget to make to do this. So this is basically it, as you can see. Our Re React app is working perfectly. They give us a random domain, but it's honestly, it's not like it's not a perfect domain, like the name, but it's just a it's just a side project, you know? This is for your portfolio project. So a domain name, especially since it's free, this is good enough. And going over everything we did, we created our React app. We wrote everything. Then we deployed it to GitHub. As you can see right here, we have our repository. Everything is working. Then we went to Nellify. We went to our account, we created an account, we went to there and clicked on new site and connected our GitHub account to this, like our repository for our project to the Netlify account. And then what we did is we came back to our React application. We simply wrote yarn run build, and this will create a build version of our application. And after you run this, you're, you need to deploy again to GitHub. And the reason why you need to deploy again is because uh, or uh, push again to GitHub because you now have a new build version. So you go here and you write git push or first you need to put git commit and you commit to, to, your, to your repository and then you go git push and immediately when you push it, uh, if your account is already connected to your repository, you'll see that it will start to run and rebuild again. And if you make this final change of going to your deploy settings and clicking on the build command and changing it to CI equal yarn run build. And by the way, this could be NPN run build. I'm just using yarn. That's why it's like this. I don't want to confuse anyone. And this should probably be it. You can come here and you can click on this and it will open the whole website and literally anyone can access. So the, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please let, like below and comment down below what you're going to see next. I'm, I'm currently making a bunch of series, so I'm really excited to continue posting and uh, Please subscribe because I'm posting every single day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you guys next time.